a one-legged one-legged pirate is off to the pool. yesterday is uh, the classic one is there's a rule which is called uh, rice so just like rice the food uh, rest ice compression elevation I repeat R rest I ice C compression E elevation so lift it up uh, that's what I did I uh, just took some uh, some ice from the cooler Wait, I'll show you. So, the ice part, I just took some professional uh, vegetables, <laughs> doesn't matter what it is. Um, ice, and I cooled it for about 8 to 10 minutes. I put it right on the skin. Some people say it's too intense because you should put a towel under, uh, which is probably better for the skin, but I felt it's fine because of the coverage, it wasn't pure ice. So, uh, I iced that one in the evening, in the morning, and uh, I'll show you what I did else. So, next to the ice part, I uh, also use a Compax, uh, this one is only $180 or francs, really simple one, has everything you need. I use it for muscle recovery, it's kind of giving a contraction, it's basically like a massage. You can put it on places which are hard to massage, like under the foot, I like it, on the outside of the chin, it's, it's many places, I really like it for that. Um, but in this case there's a program which is for acute pain um, and that helps for uh, recovery, so I just put it exactly where I had the pain. Um, on there this morning already and I just left it for 20 minutes uh, it should be just vibrating it's tense maybe some of you guys have heard it there's no magic it's been around for, for many many years but this works a bit of blood supply and helps recovery but in the end the R from the rice part or rest is the big one so um, the ego has to be completely left out of it right um, no running now for a few days for sure so I can cycle I will tape it up uh, with kinesio tape, I'll show you how to do that. Uh, with the cycling, it's important that the cleats are not too tight on the bike. So if you don't have play like this, your ligament, which is also a bit stretched in this way, might not like it. With me anyways, with the bike fit I got from my friend John, uh, Carbon Endurance, a uh, very good bike fitter. He put them in a way that I'm flexible. Through that I had way less issues and could create more power actually. So loose cleats, if you have anything with the ankle, and then cycle, if you have pain during cycling, yeah, where well, then you know you can't cycle. Maybe you have to switch to a mountain bike where you have no cleats at all, then it will work, I'm pretty sure. And not too much pressure, of course, depends how bad it is. With me, it's not so bad now, I think. It should be a few days, uh, a maximum week of no running, and then I'm back. Uh, what else, the Brownlee also said, and that's something people forget. Some people get all stressed about it. Oh, I can't run, I can't run. Um, of course, if I have now a race next week, this is, this is bad. Uh, but I don't, it's the end of the season, best, best, uh, best time for something like that to happen. Uh, a week of no running means nothing if I do it properly. If I start too early, I'll get in compensation somewhere in the, in the pelvis, in the low back, somewhere. No bueno, you get issues later on. So, do it properly, get rid of it, one week. Um, and your heart, like the cardiovascular system, cannot distinguish between if you're going swimming, cycling or running. That's what Alistair Brownie said. And uh, that's a good reminder because uh, in the end I'll just go more cycling, uh, swimming probably the same and I have the same weekly volume which is for my engine really important that I, that I keep progressing. Okay, the running now for maybe a week is, is not there, uh, doesn't matter, it's fine and then after a week latest I can get back into it. So that's my plan, I'm now hopping after the swim but first I want to show you how to put the kinesio tape on. Let's have a look. So let's get back into it. Uh, I bet you didn't think this channel would be about feet and I want to keep this chapter close. Uh, it's not the most beautiful thing, but anyways, quick thing. So kinesio tape, everybody knows it, it's no magic. There's many ways how to tape it. Um, what I do is, and I'm, I'm, sure, I'm sure YouTube can do it way better, there's just Google uh, ankle twisting uh, kinesio taping or something like that and there will be amazing videos. Way better done than this, but quick one. Uh, I have one thing which is uh, longer and one a bit shorter, two different tapes. 
and you always cut them off at the edges it's very important because then they last longer otherwise they fiddle off more quickly and you'll just lose them um, so what I do is I take the first one uh, you always peel it off in the middle like this and you can really nicely do it like this uh, the first one guides as an anchor anchor if it goes over the maleoli it's like the outside bones here on both sides that you have sticking out that's kind of an anchor for the whole thing so you put that under um, kinesio taping the stretch part is important so depending what you want you can in theory loosen it um, and stabilize it of course I want to stabilize it so you put more stretch nice little stretch put it over and the ends you always put without any pressure same thing on the other side you don't see it but it's not massively important pull it go over the bones and then like that so this is just a just a basic anchor um, then you rub it a little bit because then the glue sticks better um, which is of course what you want you can swim with it and it lasts apparently up to 48 hours some say 72 but as soon as you feel it loosening off or a lack of stability you just Put a new one on it's not like it's an expensive thing this tape so next one important uh, so what I said is here is uh, about here I have the pain so there's some ligaments here um, and they were just overstretched and that's why it's telling me with pain signals pain receptors it's telling me hey uh, I got some pain there man uh, you should be a bit easier got a tiny bit of swelling here not much compared to the other side sometimes people have a massive blue ball this is no bueno <laughs> But I got a small one, so barely anything. It's fine, should be a few days, but let the inflammation settle. It's an acute phase right now uh, of the healing process. It's different phases, different topic. <clears throat> so what I want to happen is, I want it to prevent, I can't do it somewhere on this one, my, for my foot rolling in. I don't want that to happen. So many ways to do this. Uh, what I will do is I pull it a bit up sideways. And then I kind of put a spiral around. I know there's many ways, but uh, I figured out this one. For now, I'll pull it like this, and I'll spiral it around here towards the back. I know there's many ways, not too much, so it works. Okay. I just want a little bit of stability. Okay, like this. Okay, now I got a nice little anchor here. I can feel it pulling me towards the outside, which is where I want it to be. I don't want this thing stretched. A nice little anchor. And I actually, to be honest, I'll put one more tape, just like over the top of here, to anchor it around, and that's it. Okay, okay, if I do it, I have to do it properly. Last piece, again, a bit shorter than the other one. I pull it open in the middle, take the two sides. Just, here's the line of the joint from the main joint and foot straight over there, full tension all around and the ends again loosely, loosely put on. Now I'm nicely taped up, should be well for cycling and running, ah just kidding, I'm not running. Um, swimming and cycling, some mobility work, leaving the foot alone of course, but uh, yeah that's it. The one-legged, one-legged pirate is off to the pool a little limp going on but uh, uh, what I said earlier rest okay but you also have to move it there's a rule that's called also mice which is movement I have to find a fine balance of course you need rest as well so a gentle movement walking for example helps so for the swim today I'll probably uh, put the pool boy on a lot maybe lock the ankles with the tape so the Anfredino maybe <laughs> And uh, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. But uh, taking over, ain't no stopping me, friends. Which lane are we gonna take? This one is mine. Good thing that we are in Spain, because uh, filming in Switzerland, I would have already been uh, tackled and put to prison, because you cannot <laughs> film at all in the pool, which I understand for privacy reasons, but uh, I'm not putting anybody on here that doesn't want to be on there, so let's get in there. Okay, so swim is in the back. Did it, uh, really happy so far. Can't really kick off so hard off the wall, but uh, that was to expect it. So um, yeah, the magic 130 barrier is, has definitely fallen a while ago. So um, that's cool. 
can do 50s in 34 seconds now in a 50 meter pool, which is something I couldn't do before with maybe 37, 38, I would be gassed. Uh, all based technique. Uh, I'll make a video on that at some point, but uh, now let's get some food. Huh? So we are off to the pool one more time, one last time for a little swim. Well, a little swim uh, depends who you talk to. If it's Michael Phelps, it's a little swim. Otherwise, it's a six times 800, almost 5K. For me, a good session, but uh, it's just numbers, means nothing. Uh, consistency, step by step. Uh, actually, <laughs> didn't pull out the camera in the main zone here. That's next level YouTuber. That's not me yet, but uh, so I had to hide a little bit when the people are gone. But uh, well, I hope the sound is okay with this thing because it's not the, the real camera, the Sony, but uh, taking that one to the pool is kind of a, a bit uh, tricky. So I hope this thing does the job. Uh, if it doesn't, if the sound is shh, then I will change. Also a little update on the ankle. Uh, it's been feeling really good. It's uh, 48 hours, almost 72 after the twisted ankle in the evening. Feels really good. I did all the steps, uh, putting the camp compacts on for the tense healing, um, resting it, taping it. Now I put a bit less tape so the muscles keep uh, keep active, not fully taped. So um, yeah, it's really not so bad. I don't think it's a week off running. But I want to make sure that at least during the day I feel nothing. I'll put some load on it, maybe some strength training um, and some reactive stuff because I mean ligaments mainly work and are kind of the like a cruciate ligament in the knee. They do the job when the muscle is inactive. That's why a ACL, like a classic knee knee injury, happens so quickly. The ligament can only take uh, 10 kilos of load, which is nothing. You just need to have it in the right angle and boom, it snaps. Bit different in the foot and hip they're more durable but uh, anyways they they get used um, it's kind of a security before it hits the joints and the structures it's just one more net of security next to the muscles that's why you need to make sure that your muscles are strong and are especially quick and reactive especially in running uh, they need to know how to balance that's why you need to pick the right shoe as well um, something that fits to your body and you feel comfortable in, but run in a var variety of shoes as well. So uh, have a bit uh, higher profile, a bit lower profile. I did a mistake the other day that I ran a track session with a higher profile shoe, uh, the Alpha Fly Nike, and uh, that was not good because it was way too unstable in the corners. Um, of course, also you have to make sure foot stability is good, but that's with me not horrible. But left side is worse than right, so I'm working on that. It's a little thing, so gym work, gym work, gym work, but not just weights, but like reactive stuff. Your, your body needs to know how the muscles uh, have to activate and function to keep you healthy. Anyways, enough chit chat, let's hop in the water. Eh? That was a really solid swim. I think one of the best swims I have done. So the first, first thinking is then, uh, why, why was that one of the best swims? So uh, I want to go back because I want to repeat that, right? Two days ago I did a big mobility session, uh, also for like lats and your arms and everywhere, uh, spine. And just since then, of course, my stroke is much better, much more clean, much more resistance, less resistance you have to work against. And uh, just a few things that I did. I also watched a video, which I will link in the video, from Effortless Swimming. Uh, he talked about body rotation, right? And then I realized while watching this, hey, this is what I'm doing, I'm over rotating. So there's like the degree uh, of your body, right? And this 60 to 80 is too much. That's what I was doing, especially to the breathing side. And then I started to uh, rotate less, let's say uh, 45 to 25 degrees, and my whole stroke changed for the better. I could do catch better, I could do the whole stroke better. And I did uh, ascending and descending, 800, so like 
starting, starting fast, going to slow, starting slow, going to fast. And they were extremely good. The fast 100 was 115 to start in the 50 meter pool. I remember doing 116s VO2 max. I was dead and gassed. And I was doing 115 in the first fast 100 and kept going for another 700 meters, of course, slower than. So really happy. Um, you have to salvage those moments because there's not going to be uh, many of those in swimming. It's, it's a tough road, but uh, of course. So make sure. Why did you have a good swim? Always reason. And maybe there were puzzle pieces that you did that led to the swim. So uh, yeah, make sure to do that and enjoy the swim. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. You can really help me out if you like and subscribe, push your notification bell, comment below what you want to see next, and I see you in the next video.